Shalom. We we'll start by giving all the praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arachak, Wadash. Double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the fellow laborers of the hopeful elect tabernacle of David scattered abroad. Now, the name of this channel, Mad, Mad World, which is a perfect name. And when you look at the content that's uploaded on this channel, you know, it just paints that picture. All right, this place is uh, extremely perverted. It's mad, it's degenerate, it's depraved. You know, this is a sick world we live in right now, but that's because of who's in power, of course. All right, so the scriptures talk about when the when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth. It also says that the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. It also says in First John five and nineteen, we know we are the children of the Most High, and the world, the whole world, lieth in wickedness. So this is what we're going to see. And you know, with this latest psyop, you know, which is all um, designed to distract the masses. From what's really going on What's really happening You know with your economy The fact that you know They're preparing for a war You know you got this going on You know setting up You know a possible civil war Between you know these uh, Liberal uh, Leftists And you know the Republican You know alt-right conservative You know which ultimately you know, that's just a sign that this place is out of here. You know, the scriptures say, and we always quote it. And, um, you know, it was very wise words from Yahweh Shai. They were trying to accuse him of, uh, you know, casting out demons in the name of Baal's above. And he said, if a kingdom be divided against itself, it cannot stand. You know, if Satan, if Satan shall cast out Satan, he can't stand but, but have an end. And this is what you see in here in, in, in Babylon, where it's nothing but just con pure confusion. You know, everybody's just, they're confused. You know? People don't, they, they don't, they just don't know anymore. They just, whatever, <laughs> whatever I wake up with in the morning, that's just what it's going to be. That's my truth. All right, strong delusion, man. And it says that in Isaiah 19 and 14 that the Lord had mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of Egypt. And you seeing it, man, they're staggering. It is is getting more and more sick by the by the by the day. So we know this last incident that happened uh, in Tennessee where you had a uh a, a, a crazed trans person walk into a Christian school and gun down Three children and three adults, which, you know, if you've been, uh, you know, paying attention and, you know, looking at some of the clues, you can very, you could, you could very well tell that, you know, this is all, you know, certain words I want to refrain from using because they can try to, you know, the algorithm can detect certain terms used and, you know, they'll try to strike you for harassment or hate speech or whatever they want to, you know, deem it. But we all know this is all, you know, this is order out of chaos, basically. The Hegelian, this plays right into their Hegelian dialectic. That's why the scriptures warn us to, uh, you know, put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So anyway, um, I'm going to play maybe a couple clips. This is from this channel, Mad Mad World. All right. It's 18 seconds. All right. And you got this, this winch right here. You know, she always, they always put her up to do their uh, dirty work. You know, she speaks for them. But uh, basically, they're, they're going to, you know, flip the narrative. Because these this community is just as protected as the, uh, the small hat 1948er community. All right. Um, I don't know if it was Voltaire or if it was uh, George Orwell that said it. But he said, if you want to find out who got power, find out who you can't speak against. 
And they always uh, set up, you know, these uh, false flags and then they already have laws set into place when they carry these things out. All right. They got the anti-Asian bill after these string of so-called attacks on Asian people. It was just happening out of nowhere. You know. And then, you know, way before that, you know, all these uh, synagogue attacks and, you know, anti-Sims card, you know, they was pushing that hard. Um, then, of course, they got their, you know, bills passed where, you know, you can't come against them. Whereas, you know, anti-Sim and, you know, they could charge you with, they could penalize you. And they've been doing the same thing for this community. So... Yeah, you know, that's what this is all about. And they're, they're going to, you know, cause a possible civil war between the two parties. All right, the Christian conservative versus the liberal. So anyway, let's uh, watch this real quick and we'll get a, another one. And one of the things that we saw during the midterm elections is that people don't want their freedoms to be taken. They want us to fight for their freedoms. And so it is shameful, it is disturbing, and uh, our hearts go out to uh, the, those the trans community as they are under attack right now. But <laughs> how many subscriptions are you paying for? So, Rocket in other words, and one of the things, in other words, even though it was a person from that alleged community that just murdered uh, six people allegedly, that's. You're going to make them the victim. The perpetrator who did it, because that person represented that community, you're going to make them the victim because of who that perpetrator is a, is uh, associated with. So you see, she's she's of her father, the devil, man. You're going to go on, You're going to really flip this and make the shooter the victim. So. If you're a Christian, if you get attacked, it's because you provoked them, pretty much. That's that's the narrative that they're pushing. That basically you're if 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 any of these people from this community come and attack you, it's warranted because you push their backs against the wall. You've been attacking them. And then, you know, they're blaming these um you know, these these anti uh trans laws. Cause uh notice the beginning of the month, Tennessee had passed that uh, that trans bill, which uh, prevents uh, drag shows. You know, uh, trans persons can't come into these schools and try to influence, uh, you know, uh, students. Like I had seen a video uh, a few days ago where you had this 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 demon, this demonic transformer. Uh, uh, some music was playing. I don't know. Where, I don't know if they was in a library, but they was at a school, and this person was uh basically gyrating on a student sitting in a chair, while the you know other people standing by. They 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 smiling. They clapping, like it's just all good. This is a sick ass place, man. And and you 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 you're not a you're definitely not a man or a woman of the Lord. If you want this to continue all along, if you ain't signing and crying for this kind of shit, then uh, you're on the other side, man. Just by your actions, you showing where you stand. The Lord said in uh, Psalms uh, 94, who will uh, rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And a lot of you people, you're just afraid of becoming the next person ostracized and uh, attacked. You know, defamed, persecuted, because that's what's gonna happen in this in this wicked world. Isaiah fifty nine and uh, was that fifteen? Let me get that, because this will happen to you when you stand upon the moral principles of the scriptures. If you stand upon righteousness, all right, and you proclaim Yahweh, why Yahweh shy in his gospel, yeah, you you will stick out like a sore thumb, sore thumb, and uh, you will be attacked. All right, because this world is becoming more and more depraved by the day. It's evil. Isaiah 59 and 9, I mean, 15, it says, Yeah, truth faileth, 
and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it, and it was displeased, and it displeased them that there was no judgment. You know, and like it says in Habakkuk, the law is slack and, and judgment never goes forth. So they always want to protect these people, but uh, the righteous, they will condemn you. You know, this is this is the, uh, a world that they'll uh, justify the wicked and condemn the just. All right, they, they put uh, darkness for light and light for darkness. They call evil good and good evil. So we're in a backwards world. So the moment you start to, you know, proclaim the righteousness of the Most High, you define, you, you defend his divine order. You know, you can't use certain pronouns anymore in reference to certain individuals. It's complete rebellion. And this is why the Lord is preserving all these people to judgment, to be destroyed. Let me get a... Uh, Second Peter two. That's why the Lord brought death to the world in, in, in the first death with the flood, and He's preserving these souls that are become more wicked to the second death. It's only right, man. Second Peter two verse five it says, "And spare not the old world, but save Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness." So just like today, you got those who stand up for righteousness, and they're being persecuted and attacked right now they're trying to you know start a war against the christians the christians ain't been right but at least you got some ones like the ones in the bible belt they still have a, a somewhat of a a, a a moral compass because they read the scriptures they still believe that you know marriage is between a man and a woman you know uh, there is only male and female you know they still you know teach those uh values you know family you know, they're, they're, they're pro-life because the Lord said to be fruitful and multiply. Standing upon this, with the, with the Lord uh, ordained. So, yeah, you, you, you're seeing a, a full-on attack. But now then through their witchcraft, their medium, they're, they're pretty much, you know, uh, manipulating people's minds into demonizing the Christians, even though they're the ones being attacked. And I never thought I would be defending it. <laughs> damn christian community because you know christians are are they're wicked too all right they're they're our enemies too but i mean come on man all right especially if they're condemning this lifestyle they're they're you know teaching they're, they're basically standing upon you know what's right when it comes to that particular community we know the lord condemns that behavior but the wicked you know, he in his world, he gives you the license to do it. So when you, you know, read the scriptures and you stand upon it, you're preaching righteousness. It says, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. And we're, hey, we're, we're in this, the, the, the place which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. I mean, just look, just look at this, man. All right. They can attack you. And then they could become the victim and make you empathize with them when they like, what was it? Uh, I think back in January, it was a church that got burned down. Come to find out it was a, a, a um, I think it was a trans individual, man, that did that. Then you had that, that club shooting in uh, Colorado back in, uh, was it September or October, no, it was somewhere in in 2022. But that person uh, that went into that club and killed them people, he claimed to be non-binary. So they all identified with, with that same community, but they didn't want to actually, they wasn't finna say, well, you know, these people, you know, they're, they have, you know, uh, radical behavior, they're extreme. They'll never uh, label that the alphabet abominable acronym they'll never list those people as an extremist terrorist group everybody else happened to be on the fbi list all right you know you got the the white nationalists you got the uh black they, they label, uh, label us black hebrew israelites all right they got all these other groups the muslims 
But that that particular community, they're not on there. But they're doing these strings of attacks all of a sudden. And the narrative is that because they're being attacked and they're being pushed to do it. So they're justifying the wicked, man. It doesn't matter what caused them to do anything. They're doing it. So that lets you know right now who, who you know, who's in power. They're empowering these people, man. So you got to protect your children from these people. Churches ain't safe from these, like, <laughs> you know, but, but yet they're, they're the, the biggest victims. And we, and, and everybody got to uh, sympathize with them. It says, and, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly and deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. You know, you already, you know what he was suffering, man. Having to see exactly what we see in today. All right. It was Sodom and Gomorrah. Those were safe havens, you know, for, for, for just all out debauchery, man. You could just go there and do what you will. Until the Lord got fed up and warned light to hit, take him and his family and get up out of there because he's getting ready to rain fire on it. And we're in that same, you know, boat, man. We, we're, we're vexed every day when we got to see this. And they're using these same people to, to divide and, and, and distract. So they can carry on with what they got going behind closed doors. You know, putting the finishing touches on the, the, the new digital slave penitentiary system. You know, people ain't going to realize what, what, what hit them. It says, for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to be punished. And that's all he's doing. While it seems like they're getting away with what they're doing and, you know, power is on their side. They're waxing more and more bold and more proud. Well, the Lord is just uh, reserving these people. Because eventually he's going to get ready to thrust in that 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 sickle. Was that Joel uh, 3? Yeah, Joel 3 verse 13, it says, Put you in a sickle for the harvest is ripe. Come get you down for the press is full, the fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. And their iniquity is uh, reaching unto heavens, man. So... The Lord is just going to, you know, he, he, he going to get this place, man. So you see the narrative, right? Now, let's go in the same channel because they've been, you know, man, these children are really under attack, man. This is, and this is all part of that warfare, man. You know, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against uh, rulers, against the, uh, it's like yeah, against the uh, powers. Against the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places. All right, we know that Satan, you know, this is his uh, dominion, or but he's uh, beginning to fall, like like the Lord said. You know, I've seen Satan fall from heaven like like lightning. So he he's trying to pull every punch right now before he goes down. All right, but I look at this this crazy shit, man. You had these crazy ass liberal protesters. They stormed the Tennessee Capitol, and guess what? They're gonna get away with that. This is all set up, man. Order out of chaos. Far left insurrection at Tennessee Capitol. Now y'all gonna uh, subscribe to this channel, Mad Mad World, because this it puts up all the videos of all the crazy shit coming from these people, man. Uh, let me uh, so you can hear what some of these people are saying. Look at this, like, look at this creep. Look what he says. I, I have no idea. Josh Foley believes they were. What do you say to that? Well, I probably don't, then. Probably don't. No, I have no idea.
Yeah, he joking. No, you come on, man. You you he's like he's downplaying it. You don't care. He's for them. That that's you know, they they promised when before he got into office. This is why they were the most one they were the main ones celebrating when he got in. He they knew he had their best interests. Continuing on what Obama uh did. Okay? And this is and this all this all contributes to the deterioration of you know the American uh, values, all right? That 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 spirit of uh, being demoralized. This is all a contribution to it, which is which is what causes the fall of an empire, all right? Decadence. But uh, here it is, real quick. Traumatized so much by the Christian, you have a transgender person. That was finally pushed so far and traumatized so much by the Christian conservative right that they snapped. They did the unthinkable, the unfathomable, and they murdered children. And now that very group of Christian right conservatives will use that transgender person as a poster for why transgender people are evil and need to be eliminated. Even though they created the environment that allowed that monster to develop they are equally responsible and this is the methodology this entire country has been built on since the beginning we did it to the indigenous they were labeled as savages because they wanted to protect their way of life their land their lives we did it to black people and continue labeling them as angry and violent because they didn't want to be enslaved and then any time wow you see you see you see that right so you're going to compare with the, the atrocities that happened to a people group based on their nationality, their race, to a people who make their choice. You telling me that it's normal? It's, it's, it, it wasn't. Wow. <laughs> the fucking nerve, yo. These motherfuckers that she's trying to justify. Oh, man, I, I'm not going to go there because, like I said, I, I'll probably get striked. But this is this is the wicked. Going justifying the wicked. And condemning the just. This is let me let me get. Uh, is it Proverbs. Proverbs, uh, where is it at, man? Yeah, Proverbs 24, verse 24, it says, He that saith unto the wicked, thou art righteous, him shall the people curse, nations shall abhor them, abhor him. And right now, you see, and that's why you're seeing that these other countries outside of the West, they're condemning the West because this is they're, they're trying to justify immoral behavior. And they're they're pretty much getting sick and tired of the the, uh, the West trying to bully the world into submission, accepting this ideology and behavior, man. All right, which we know that that behavior is 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 rooted in a uh, wickedness, man. And it's only, it's only going to cause deterioration. All right, moral, spiritual physical deterioration because that's all it uh, leads to they're trying to say that these people are righteous it says but to them that rebuke him shall be delight and a good blessing shall come upon them so i mean that's why this place is cursed this place is cursed man it's doomed so this is sick, man. I don't even I don't even want to play anymore. Yeah, I think you heard enough. So what do you think the Lord's gonna do to this place? <clears throat> Let's, uh, let me get this. I 
Actually, let me go to uh, Wisdom of Solomon. Because this is a straight up madness, man. Wisdom of Solomon 10 in verse uh, 5, it says, Moreover, the nations in their wicked conspiracy being confounded, she found out the righteous and preserved them blameless unto the Most High and kept them strong against his tender passion toward his son. When ungodly perished, she delivered the righteous man who fled from the fire which fell down upon the five cities, of whose wickedness even to this day the wasteland that smoke of is a testimony and plants bearing fruit that never come to ripeness and a standing pillar of salt is a monument of an unbelieving soul. This is talking about what the Lord did to uh, Sodom and Gomorrah in the in the neighboring cities. Uh, we know that that was talking about Lot's wife, that 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 pillar of salt. It's just for regarding not wisdom, they got not only this hurt that they knew not the things which were good. It was just in to total gross darkness, man. But also left behind them to a to the world a memorial of their foolishness. And that's what the Lord's getting ready to do to Babylon. It's going to leave this place as a memorial of its foolishness, man. So that in the things wherein they offended, they could not so much as be hid. But wisdom, wisdom delivered from pain those that attended upon her. Right? And these people, they hate the wisdom, you know? They hate the words of the Most High. They despise it. Because the Lord tells you how to handle this type of behavior. But the wicked, he doesn't insist on doing that because he's he's the wicked. All right? Is it was it say uh the um let favor be shown unto the wicked yet will they not learn righteousness so it just ain't in them to do right so they're gonna defend this 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 bs man and, and now you see why the lord's gonna rain 200 million missiles on this place man look at just yo this is a this is clearly a mad mad world But anyway, I'm I'm gonna end it with that, man. I, I just had to do do this. You know, hopefully, I don't get striked. But yeah, man, I'm gonna give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Shai. To the next lesson, Shalom.